Morgan Freeman podcast. Hey guys, I'm Morgan Freeman here, and here we got the wet mouse. He does. That's a, that's the funny thing. He actually does it. Guys, we are going to be doing the best animal in the world. We got a random sixty animals here. I have no idea what they are. Um, well, I know what the animals are, but no idea what what they're going to be in this tournament. But we're just going to d- decide well what's the best animal um, out of this lot. I don't know what your criteria is for best animal. Is it cuteness? Is it like how strong they are? Is it how amazing their genetic makeup? I have no idea. So we're just going to dive into it. And um, we got we got the wood mouse versus the um, veiled chameleon. <laughs> I, I feel like mice don't get enough credit. I think they just been like downgraded to just like i mean the i guess they're vermin but they're pretty resilient and pretty cool like squeezing through tight gaps and like they can gnaw through fucking walls and all sorts of shit like they're they're pretty pretty cool they've got they've got you know and they're, they're good for science like we use them for science and without them you know who knows where we would be in our medical uh you know advanced technology status i don't know but kibilas are obviously like a yeah, it's a pretty intelligent. Mousetrap. The people make out. People, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever held a mouse in your hand? Or like a gerbil or a hamster or anything? In my hand. <laughs> That's not awful. Oh, I won't stop. That's horrible. <laughs> He's out. Okay. So who, who's who's winning this? Which is the best out? I mean, chameleons just get the love anyway, just because they can change color and pattern. And, and I guess I guess you have to kind of pick that because it's it's it is amazing what they can do. And I still don't understand how it works like is it their eyes looking at a texture and then their body just kind of sees that sees the texture in their blood i, I don't know I, I, I don't even know i need to look it up yeah yeah if you went if yeah if, if we went if chameleons ever existed and we went to Mars or something and we saw that, we, we would be like, yeah, that's, that looks like an alien creature. That doesn't look like a creature from, from Mars. So even, especially compared to lizards. So, okay, all right, let's let's say chameleon. Um, they got the Latin names here, which I'm not going to bother try to okay. um, pull out. Oh, uh, we got, um, we're getting into bugs now. We got assassin's bug and common wasp. Now, I have no idea. It looks like there's like, are they ants? I don't, I don't know what they are. It looks like something from Berserk. If like, if that was drawn as a manga, that would just be a demon from Berserk, essentially. Um, whereas the wasp is is known for being. No one likes wasps. Like they're just annoying, and no one likes them. Um, yeah. Okay. They do have a cool design. They do have a really cool design. I've got to admit that. They're just fucking assholes. Yeah. It looks like something from, uh, was it, uh, um, uh, Jinji Ito, Jinji Ito, like, I'm a little weird, just horror. <laughs> but that's kind of cool in itself, no? It's kind of cool that it's just a freak, it's just, it's just a freak of nature, like, that's kind of cool in in itself. Fine, fine. See that? And if it was in the right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's like a bug with... Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go with Assassin Bug. I, I feel like putting a Wasp in coming anywhere more than the first round is... is I, I think a Wasp was just... Uh, yeah, don't like Wasp. We've got two cats here. we got the uh, the Lynx, which is the, the kind of the... The weird kind of... They're kind of weird in a way. And then you've got the, the Clouded Leopard. Um, I guess they're they're kind of like the basic standard leopard you get in in the, in the jungle, um, but I, I think it's clouded because the the pattern is slightly different, uh, more giraffe like. But um, well, what's your thoughts on these two? Can you look at it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Get to bed. Oh, yeah. Well, too. I think I don't know. I think lynxes are are smaller than um than leopards. Um, but I, that lynx looks kind of like a mixture between a wolf, a bear, and a cat. Um, and so I, I, for that reason alone, I think I might put that one through just because it looks, the lynx, just because it looks like a princess, princess Mononoke weird creature that they find something, I don't know. Um, one second. Oh, isn't it? Is it hard? Because you like eating the Shibuya Yumi. A hawk, did you say? <laughs> you know, Falcon, um, they're both they're both cool animals. You're right. Oh really? They do cute as well, right? A lot of Asian guys have them, don't they? Yeah, I, I've I've seen this dog. With a lot of Asian people, and I not in not in real life, but like just in pictures and YouTube videos, like it just happens to be oh they've got a dog and it happens to be this breed, and maybe it's because it's 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 one of those species that you know is Asian or whatever. But um, I think you'll be good with a dog. I think that's that'll be good. You'll either you'll either become a nicer person or you'll just become like a, an ass more of an asshole. That'll be. That's so extreme. Um, I, I'm gonna have to pick dolphin just because I've swam with dolphins, and there's, I, there, there is obviously the like, oh, dolphins my favorite animal that everyone says, but I think there's there's a reason for that, right? And when I swam with the dolphins, it was magical in the sense that when they when they look at you, it's not like a dog looking at you or a cat looking at you. It's like you. It's like they're they're it's weird it's it's really weird but it, it's like you're looking at a person and and like you can see in their eyes like they they know something they yeah okay. uh um I think oh apart from humans but I think dolphins are probably second yeah um most likely second yeah and there's no need for them to be that intelligent right. Because it's not like, like with apes, they've got like hands, they can create tools. The, the, the intelligence is part of the package, like with gorillas and chimps. Dolphins is like, why are you so intelligent? You're just a dog, like, you know what I mean? And, um, they're cool, they're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm they, the reason for that. Got the narwhal. 
um, you know, really, really weird um, whale, I think, or ma- yeah, it's definitely a mammal. Yeah. Um, and then you got the red fox, which I think look cool. Um, it's like, there's something majestic about them. Like, it's like, there's something folk, folklore about them. Um, and I think not, foxes in general, like people that are oh, the Minji and stuff, because we're in London, we see fox in the street. But then sometimes you can get that beautiful fox that looks fluffy and well fed and clean and like fluffy and everything. And you're just like, there's something cool about the fox, but I can tell from you, from you, 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 you're liking this one. They look like rats, orange rats. Yeah. It's like a human scream, right? Just a human being just visually, like, you know, mutilated in the garden when you're trying to sleep. So that, that, that's. Okay. I... Yeah. Yeah, I I feel like the, the that weapon that horn is is not as good as it you think because if you something something's attacking it from the side it turns around but the horn's quite long so it's like it's not like you can harpoon it properly. What? what on the floor? Just wobbling on the floor like this to the side and be like ah ha. <laughs> Bit there, tasty. All right, okay, cool. We've got the polar bear and we've got the western honeybee. I, I think this is this is this might be a tricky one. If if we look past the level, this might be tricky. Will um, yeah, that. <laughs> well, if they all go, we go because there's no flowers. The vegetation goes and. Everything, this, the whole ecosystem of the planet will go. Oh, well, yeah. And then polar bears are cool because, you know, they say if you see a polar bear and you've got a gun and you've got one bullet, you save the bullet for yourself, right? Like, you're, you're already dead. So they, and they, I think they are the biggest bear. I think they are the biggest bear. Um, maybe just, just above the grizzly or the Kodak bear. Um, they're brutal, yeah. But, uh, I would say I would say bees just just because when we see bees, although people get scared, everyone kind of just unifies that sense that a bee is something happy, and we associate with like, oh, it's a bee, but we don't like wasps, but we like bees. So um, I, I, I'll, I, I'll I'll go with bee, but I think polar bears are cool. Like they are really cool. We did. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, Black Mamba and the Wolf. Now. The wolf is actually one of my favorite animals. I think we're not um, my my bulls. Um, I think they stop really. I think they one literally bite them onto your lips. I, I I I think wolves are one of the most majestic, coolest, kind of mythical animals out there. I I love the whole connection with skinwalkers um, and the the Native Americans. Um, I just think they they are. I would say 
big words, I would say they are probably the coolest the coolest animal that I can think of in terms of just being cool. That yeah well it's just a snake at the end of the day it's an Let me tell you why the wolf. Let me let me give you my pitch for one of the, one of the things for the wolf. It's iconic. It's you know the the iconic kind of like howling at the big full moon. You know the wolf on the on the on the cliff howling. You got the big moon behind it. Like that is so iconic, and the whole like the alpha wolf and all of that stuff. Like you don't get like the alpha tiger or the alpha lion. It's just like. The alpha wolf is the one that leads the big like that that whole hierarchy in animals it all all comes from the wolves like we always associate it with the wolves i think there's the, the, the wolves are just they're too cool man they're too cool no there's no part about we'll get all right <laughs> what versus the black mamba come on come on guys in the comments we gotta we gotta we gotta get this Right, so this is the last round. Flamingos versus the Emperor Scorpion, which is the, the best animal in the world. I'll, pre I'll preface it by saying my son, one of my son's favorite animals, Flamingo. They're probably dead in England because of the weather so cold. All right, Black. In Africa. In that building. Let me give you a flamingo fact. They're actually white, and the reason why they go pinkish orange is because of the stuff that they're eating. It changes their. That's a cool fact. No. But it dangles above their head. So there's poison dripping when it's like a little creep on. Creep on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's got armor all the way there. With armor, it's constantly dripping. It's sleep and it gets. Ah, this is um, okay. Okay. I mean, I would pick flamingo, but I, it seems like you're picking scorpion. I don't, I don't know what. Oh, okay, all right. The name is called. Cool. The name is called cool, scorpion. Um, whether or not the animal itself is is cool is slightly different. All right, so that's the that's the first round. We can we can pick up the pace now. We got the dolphin versus the lynx. Um, I'm just going to be quick fire here. Just go with the dolphin. I mean, all of these animals are cool. Um, the wolf and the honeybee. Oh, for fuck, so why do I have to get the honeybee? It's like, it's so hard for me to get. Pu I'm definitely going with wolf, but you're going to go with honeybee and you've got more. Re like, the things that I've said to why I think the wolf is so cool and one of the best animals, you don't really take that, take that on board. Whereas the stuff regarding the honeybee, we both take on board. So with that, I guess we don't have to go with the honeybee, but. Still a wolf, man. Yeah. 
it basically the wolf is cool, but the bee is important. And it's not that cool. I mean, the, the wasp is probably cooler than the bee, but or a hornet. But in terms of canines, dogs, wolf is the top coolest of its whole, its whole, I don't know what it's called, its whole kind. Um, but okay, we'll go with B because I know I'm not going to win this argument. Whatever. Flamingo versus narwhal. I'm probably going to go with flamingo still. I'm not that in. Uh-huh. Yes. It's just a whale with a toothpick. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not, I'm not too happy about either of these, to be fair. But Assassin's Bug versus Chameleon. I'm still going to go Chameleon. It's just too. It's just too. Not cool is the right word. It's too interesting for me. Alright. Right, I've got two fishes, two mammals, um, dolphin versus narwhal. Still gonna go with dolphin. Um, Um, so they are some of the only animals. There's only a, a certain group of animals, I think, that have sex for pleasure, which is humans and dolphins. So there might be something else as well, but humans and dolphins are the ones that have sex for pleasure. The scorpion dirt certainly doesn't have sex for pleasure. That's, that, I don't know how that works. Um, Comedian versus the bumblebee. This is this this might be a tough one. Yes. Yeah, there's a respect there. Yeah. And they work hard, and they and if once they sting you, they die. So they're kind of like samurais, like you know, samurai, and they do it for they do it for the collective, like they sacrifice their lives to save. The, like there's like a Game of Thrones kind of like military samurai, last samurai type shit going on there. So like you got to give it to the B man. They're like they know what they're you know. The law. I'm gonna beat to myself to be fair. But this is the final. It'll be it'll be interesting to see what the comments below um, out of these animals what they what they think. I think most people would naturally tend to like the dolphin more than the bee because some people are like they're scared of insects and stuff. And the bee does have that like I'm scared of them because they're just insects and insects are weird. Um, so people probably do have that. But um, it's respect versus with the love, just a love like they're just. You know, especially th those those types of uh, dolphins specifically, they're like. Idiot. Yeah, then he said they should just be free and not. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done that? Have you swam with dolphins? No. You didn't. Right the hole. Yes. The first, oh, with their, it's like avatars, you know, when they they sync up their the hair. Oh. That's what you got to do with the dolphins to make sure that you guys are.
Yeah, I think I'm going to go to Dolphin just because of the experience I had last time with them. I I, I feel like they it 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 was it was it was magical. Like I I was how old was I? I was like it was probably like you know eight nine years ago. It was a magical experience. So. We always do this. We get to the final and then we have a difference of opinion and then we let the comments. Bruh. But you know what? You know what? You're right. You're right. I have. You're right. I can't forget that. It's, it's the sacrificial element to the bee that I think is really cool. Yeah. They just work and work and work, and it's not for themselves. And they, honey, they don't really have it themselves. It's to, for the it's for the young, isn't it? It's for you know, it's not really for them. So they they're selfless. They are strong, resilient, team well. They are like heroes because without them, we wouldn't really function properly. We wouldn't. We know it. Yeah. Well, yeah. It would be like White Tiger and all of this stuff. Um, okay. I, I, I'm happy to go with a B. I mean, well, it's, it is controversial, but I think I think I kind of sold myself on the beat, and I never would have thought I would have done that. So, um, what's your final? What's your final vote? Is it on B or what? Dolphin. Okay. And you couldn't get two opposite animals in here and that's what i love about the diversity of life on this planet you got some something that's a fish in the water not a fish mammal in the water and then you have an insect that flies around and it's like you can't you can't get any more different but um there you have it guys let us know if we're on the right track is a bee better than the dolphin is it the best animal in the world what is the best animal well let us know in the comments below and uh let's know your thoughts on that with that i've been alex Peace.